Hello everyone, and welcome back to Idiotic Ultimara Plays uh, Mad Games Tycoon on Legendary Mode. In the last episode, I showcased how easy it was to just make money on Legendary Mode. It might be a slow process, but it's easy. And that's all you do throughout the whole entire game. All you do is have this character in this div, dev room waiting for contracts and whenever you have enough money develop an engine or do research or something otherwise just wait and you will make money from your engines from your contract work that's all you do is you just wait for a long time what are you selling what are you buying nothing my man absolutely nothing ooh contract work 17 weeks, 11,000. Nice! Uh -huh. Thank you. Get me some money. Ooh! Is that enough? That is enough to develop an art engine. Awesome! Dev, new engine. Create one for the arcade. Arcade engine 1. That's not how you spell engine. 1. Sell it with sprites, and again, sell it at 20%. You'll see soon enough what I mean by making a stupid amount of money with engines. Once uh, the first few games come through with my engines, I should be making money. I know they're pretty out of date now, but it still, still happens. They still use your engines. Eight weeks. Yeah, I'll get that. That took me two weeks. Okay. That's pretty good. As long as the... Yep. And I can, re I can create my next engine. Which I will be doing. Straight in that. Uh, straight away. Do I have the next engine? Puzzle. Sprite. Puzzle. Engine. One. It does not matter what you name your engines. Um, more unique the name doesn't sell the engine it it really isn't it doesn't matter you just name your engine whatever fuck you want and I name them uh, puzzle engine 1 puzzle engine 2 and crap like that to make it for me to know what I'm doing that's pretty much it and I got another 12,000 yay go back there and they do that randomly <laughs> oh oh contract Oh, that's really easy. That took me less than a week. Come on, finish that puzzle engine. I could, if I wanted to, increase the... Ooh. I could, if I wanted to, increase the quality of the place. And it will actually make this guy go faster. But it does not matter at all. And engine was done, and a contract was started. Look at that! Look at all my money. Now let's check my engines out. Engines. You haven't sold. You haven't sold, and you haven't sold. I don't think anyone's actually bought a license. Nope. Nope. And uh, no. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I don't expect to make always money. Um, let's now research. Um, four color? Yeah. Since it is the cheapest. We'll research the cheapest right now. Ooh. And keep going back to the contract work. Ooh, now this is... This might actually give me a penalty. Or not. Holy crap. I did that in two weeks. Well, that was awesome. My character is fucking amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Contract work. As you can see, money is pretty easy. <laughs> uh, this is how you cheat the game. That's all you need to do is just constantly pop them back and forth. Create engines. And you don't even need to create that many. Again, I'm going to wait until probably 100,000 actually for my next... Um, 
character or staff member. But yeah, pretty simplistic. Uh, it gets pretty easy. Do -do 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 -do. It's PC speaker music. Next, I will be creating upgraded versions of all of the engines that I've made. They cost a bit more because you're going to be adding an extra 20,000 to them. But they only cost 10, 20,000. They don't cost the 18, the 13,000 plus the uh, 20,000. They only cost 20 because you're only paying for the upgrade. You're not paying for the whole entire engine, which is pretty nice. Makes it pretty easy eventually. And there's another 18,000. I, I can upgrade all three of my engines. Romedy has licensed your engine. There we go. Um, Lockstar has licensed your engine. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, we have... This engine has sold once and made 9,000 already. That does not include the amount of money I've made from... Um, what the actual game will make. The game might make a fuck ton of money and give me a stupid amount. So that's made half of what I, I spent on it. That's also made half of what I spent on it. And that hasn't. So, already I've made one of my engines back. Develop a new engine. Nope. Upgrade that one. Do not replace. Sell engine. For... Oh, it's only 25,000. So, cell engine for 12,500. Not that. Make it skill engine 2. And sell it for 20. Do not replace your old engines. The AI will buy your old engines. At random times. Which is fucking weird. I don't get it. The AI isn't that great in this game but it doesn't matter and I've sold it another and I've sold the same engine twice so now I've actually made and I've sold the skill engine twice so now I've made my money back from the skill engine and my arcade engine there you go puzzle engine is still ha still ha not made um, any money but that is fine and now I want to get that done I should get this, this should... There we go. There we go. So, sold it for 9,000, which is half the amount of what the skill engine cost. And we know we've sold the second one. Now, if you look here, we made 25,000, almost 26,000, from the actual game. So, we actually made double, almost, of what the actual engine cost us. There you go. How good is that? It's a bit cheaty, but it works. And yeah, this is how you beat the game on Legendary. And again, I've sold the arcade engine again. So I've now sold it three times. Sold the skill engine three times. Cheating the game. Winning the game. There we go. And I've. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much how you win this game. And now that I'm actually at 172,000 and I'm making profit handover fest, we're actually going to bring in a second member of staff. I'm going to bring in Donald. Donald Mizumoto. Mizumato, or whatever. We're going to bring him in. To do research solely. Actually, no, he's not going to do research, he's going to do engines. Nope, don't care. And there you go, another 19,000. I'm making money, hand over fist. What I want, I uh, made 10,000, okay. I actually want to rename this guy. Uh, you can stay that, but this guy is going to be called Nova. Actually, no. He's going to be called Maxor. Um, yeah, that's fine. Max or Mizumato. Mizumato. Whatever. Mizu, Mizumoto. Um, that is for the fact that uh, Maxor has pretty much been in all of my li live streams this month. 
as lo along with Void Saver and Richie. So I'll be making um, them people as well eventually in this game. And Silo says that he's costing us three and a half thousand, but he doesn't cost anything at all. So yeah, it doesn't matter. So you're going to uh, develop the engine, and there's another seventeen thousand. Broken the game. Absolutely broken the game. You are now going to create. No, I actually want you to start making genres, economic set. Make more engines, basically. That's what I'm planning on doing. So now we're actually spending three and a half thousand, uh, three thousand on this, and what's it? A couple of hundred on the actual place itself. So we're now losing some money, but not a lot, and um, not anything that's worth it, worth the cost. So two up to twenty thousand, up to twenty percent. Add those two and start. Now, if we can sell these, they'll actually make more money. Like these games are really, really poor. Um, yeah, they're they're poor. They're like ten percent games, but they're making me money. And that's all I care about is the money they're making me. Um, if there we go, another fourteen thousand. Do 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 contract work. That one. That really isn't anything. Anyway, if you look at the engines now, here we've made sixty six thousand. The engine cost us eighteen thousand, so we've made a profit of forty thousand from that engine, and even more from that engine. Fifty nine thousand, I think. This is still not making any money, but that's fine. The AI tends to go towards the arcade and skills. Uh, normally, so that that's kind of to be expected. The puzzle games don't really get that much attention, and there's another twelve thousand. So yeah, I've easily made my money back. And all you do is keep this up. You could probably actually keep this up for the whole game, and uh, not really buy any buddy. Uh, develop triple A game. Before, don't even develop uh, B plus games or anything like that. Just develop AAA games, have everything researched, and then make your second game. That's all you need to do, and win the game. There we go. Skill Engine has sold again, and as you can see, Skill Engine has sold, but we actually have the Skill Engine two, which is like nineteen percent. So this hasn't sold. This has two extra features costs 3,000 more, so it actually is better, 3,500 more, it's better, and they share less with me, um, I'm actually going to fix that, so I want that at 20, then this, but someone bought this, so it's kind of weird, anyway, less, less to care, don't care about that anymore, anyway. anyways, we win. I've won this game now. It's yeah. Um it's a game. The game I'm not saying the game is bad. The game is a lot of fun. I I have had a lot of a lot of fun with this game. I really do enjoy it. But yeah, once you figure out what you're doing, the game is pretty simple. And I don't know if it was meant to be like this. But yeah, it's it gets very very easy. Ooh, and skill engine sold for eleven thousand. Now we want that contract work. I could if I wanted to create games, but there is literally no point in creating games. Games cost you. So here we are. This was not. This was reused, but I didn't make money of it. I didn't make the license fee because uh, Semco already had it. However, they just made me 28,000, so I really don't care. <laughs> you can keep using that engine all you want. I don't care. Make me money from it. Mm. Once you get to 250,000, non 
non-bank money. So your own money. 250,000 in the black. In the black. Arcade Engine 2 has been made. Let's develop a new engine. A brand new engine, actually. And develop it for Ecosim. So, Ecosim 1. Um, Ecosim Engine 1. And add sprites. Sell over 9,000. And 20%. There we go. And that will get developed. And we finally sold Skill Engine 2. So, we were making roughly about 20-ish, 15-ish uh, to 20,000. And I've sold Skill... God. Yeah. Broken game. I, I win the game. I don't even have to make a game. And a game creating game. You just have to make enough. You just have to make make enough money from your um, contract work to just develop engines, and you will win the game from engines. Ooh, contract work again. Still keep doing the contract work. The contract work is still pretty damn effective. Later on, however. When your games are earning millions and millions and millions per day. There we go. This game was pretty shit. No no line. That game was pretty shit. <laughs> but it made me money. And it actually it didn't even make me the money that I cost the engine. And there we go. Arcade engine was used again. Even more money. Skill engine was used again. <laughs> I'm sure you bought that engine. Sure, Sam go bought that engine. Uh, okay. Let's see how well our engines are doing now. Skill engine. 117,000. I'm not even 107,000. That's all I'm going to say. Cost us 18,000. We've made 117,000. There we go. That's that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Let's actually jazz up the place a little bit, shall we? Make the place look nicer. So that... Mm, I did it wrong. Ah, I keep doing that. Ah, screw it. There we go. I'm so used to playing Factorio right now that I keep using the Factorio buttons. Like Q and R and shit like that. Um, small plant, go there, there. And I did it. let's put a lamp there, there, and there. I'm pressing Q to get rid of it. There. There we go. That'll be fine. That boosted it by quite a bit. And my en my people will actually go faster. Semco are really, really using all my engines. Holy crap, Semco. They're really enjoying my engines. New platform. Do 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 do. Anyway, this is how you win the game, and you just have to be patient. Um, don't go over the top. Don't use all. Of, is that skill engine two? That was used. No, it wasn't. It was skill engine one. Oh my god! Look at it. Almost ten times. Um. Yeah, just don't go overboard with the amount of staff you have. Have a enough staff to use, but not too many staff that it ends up becoming they end up becoming a nuisance, pretty much. Ecosim engine one has been done. Now let's develop another engine. Improve on the puzzle engine one that hasn't been sold yet. Not one of them has been sold. Use both of them. Sell the engine for twelve and a half thousand. Profit share for twenty percent. And we're done. Oh. And we just can wait for a while. If I do start losing money, which I really doubt it. 
Oh. I really, really doubt it. I will fire this guy. But he's costing me next to nothing. He really is. Like, he costs me the same amount of money. I can pay for him three times. With this one contract. Basically. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. That's been 20 minutes. I will see you all in the next episode. Where we will continue to make fuck tons of money. And win the game. Um, I will play the game until 20... I think it's like... 2013 or something like that, or 2015, uh, and then the game kind of stops doing things. Anyway, I will uh, see you in the next episode. Have fun, people, and goodbye.